In the previous example, we had looked at just simply returning all the data that we have in our database. So what if we actually want to be more specific? We wanted to return all of the results that had an age of 22. Uh, so how would we do that? And of course, we looked at last time how we can re return specific columns. Uh, so over here, and again, I'm gonna take some cues from what PHP my admin does. And if I want to return all the first names, that where, or maybe we, to start off and really simplify this, we're gonna return back all of them where the ID is greater or equal to, to four. So this is just to start out. So we can see this uh, within search, where we simply do equal to four, we go go, we see that we got our one result being returned and so this is our query string that we can use and we see we've got it's it's kind of straightforward English where we're doing select what we're selecting from and then where we're selecting it from where and then we're being specific on what needs to be um, what needs to be what conditions need to be met in order for us to match that so I'm going to update this with what we've just learned. So we've already have that select. We've, we've specified the columns that we were selecting. We've specified from which database that we're selecting it from or which table we're selecting it from. And now I'm going to add in where. And where is ID equals four. So this is going to be really easy and straightforward. I can go back and refresh it and we should only see that same output that we saw the last uh, over here. Uh, so what if we made an update of it and if we did something like where it's greater than four and we can see that uh, so now we've only getting that five being returned uh, so what if we did something like greater than or equal to four so this should return back uh, four, five, and so on. So we have some options there to become really specific on what we want to return and uh, really begin to specify all those different return options just using that ID. And of course, we can update this. And, uh, and this is the same thing that we would be typing into our query strings here. So we could just be updating this SQL select whatever from wherever and whatever conditions we want to meet and how and what specifically we want to return. So it doesn't need to necessarily be ID. We could do something like where first equals, and because this is a string, we need to quote around it. So what was our first, first name? or something like that. So now we return back where first is equal to. Could have done the same thing for last. We could do the same thing for age and so on. The next lesson we're gonna look at, again, how to become more specific and even how to sort our returned uh, information. So that's all coming up in the next lesson.